There's a variety of other options available to you here via the Edit menu, Preferences. That brings up the Preferences dialog, and these are the main preferences for your Setup Factory 7 application. Now, uh, going through each and every one of these would be beyond the scope of this video, but we'll take a quick look at some of them right now and how we can change them. If we select the Build option here, for example, you'll see it gives us options to do different things, such as build with the Publish Wizard, open our Output folder after Build by default, and so forth. So we'll go ahead and maybe check that to change it. Now when I press OK, it's actually going to open that output folder after build by default. I'm not going to go through and actually demonstrate that, but you can take my word for it and you can actually, uh, you know, take a couple minutes, go through these and experiment and try it out for yourself. I encourage you to experiment with all these uh, and see how they relate to your workflow and which ones work best for you. If you have any questions after this video, of course, come to the forum at indigorose.com and we'll be happy to answer them. You can see, for example, under the document setting here, you have an opportunity to change your undo levels. That's a, an example of a, a typical requirement that a lot of people will like to have a higher level of undo so that they can actually experiment with some changes and know that they can back out of them. Some people don't worry about that sort of thing. So we have it set by default to 10, but you can actually change that. Um, I tend to set that up to as high as 20 personally. Uh, here we've got an autosave feature for the document and this is really great because if you're like me you're paranoid about losing a bunch of work so I like to have my autosave enabled so every 15 minutes or so it saves my document for me and here you've got a purge level so how many documents deep do you want that to uh, keep autosaving. Uh, we've got options here for adding files for languages for example these are the default languages we can go ahead and add different ones here. Uh, we've got environment options here so that you can actually choose different themes for your GUI I left mine set to default, but you can change yours. Uh, docking pane, task pane, animation, and again for animation I, I left mine to system default. I tend to leave all these things at default, but I encourage you to go through here and just fool around with these and, you know, check it out. I mean, if, if something is a little bit cooler and you like it and it makes you happier to be in the application, that's great, you know. Um, here's the build folders and the output folders and the preference files and project file folders. And you can change these freely. So you can choose any folder anywhere on your hard drive. Go ahead and, and set it up. It doesn't even have to be on your hard drive actually. It could be on a network. It could be on anything. But in this particular case, we're just dealing with the defaults. And again, I, I like to leave them set to the defaults and just get used to that. And I encourage you to do that at first. Use the defaults and then work later into uh, more customized setups. Here we've got some options for the script editor where we can, uh, in, in, for example, in our scripting editor, double click opens the action property dialog. So if we have an action there and we double click on it uh, to select a word, which people will typically get used to doing in a text editor or an HTML editor, um, you're going to accidentally pop open the actions dialog um, for that particular action. So you might want to deactivate that. On the other hand, if you're a person who doesn't tend to double click to select a word, you would probably want to leave that checked. So go through and uh, actually check that out and see how it works for you. The automatic syntax checking we talk about um, in our actions chapter on the CD-ROM. Uh, but again, I encourage you to uncheck that and try it without and try it with. I tend to leave it on. I find it a great help. And again here we've got options for the spell checker and different spell checking dictionaries available online uh, in our forum. Uh, options for startup, you can actually start by uh, starting a new project right off the bat or opening your last project. Uh, tips of the day if you want to display those. And here's an um, auto update feature so that you can actually uh, check for updates to Setup Factory automatically using true update technology. Uh, you can deactivate that or activate this here or change the frequency for example if you want to check every day to see if there's a new version out or every two days or three days uh, and so forth and you can also check here to hide the interface of the update. So that's uh, some of the uh, preferences available for you in Setup Factory 7.0 via the Edit menu, Preferences dialog. And I encourage you to go through and fool around with these and see which, uh, which your favorites are. And uh, like I say, again, I'd like to reiterate that if you have any questions at all about any of these preferences, go ahead and come meet us in the forum and we'll be happy to answer.